making a sausage sandwich. And these are my versions of main sliders. Today we're checking out the butcher shop located in Wynwood. Now I really wanted to come here because this restaurant offers a very cool and unique dining experience. Not only are they a restaurant, but they're also a full service butcher shop and a beer garden. So let's go. The food here is modern American with an Eastern European influence, including some old school German. I'm first gonna meet with Fred Nisnik, owner of the butcher shop, who will tell us all about it. Tell me a little bit about the butcher shop. I know that you opened this with your father as well, so how yes. did that concept come about? This is the birth child of, a, of an idea I had with my dad. I basically wanted to marry uh, a beer garden, a butcher shop, and a restaurant. My father has been a butcher for many years, so he said, you know, let's do a beer garden and a butcher shop. Beer and meat go very well hand in hand. So we locked ourselves in an office for over a year, planning out every scenario, explaining to my father how the restaurant industry works, convincing him because he's super old school, and then obviously finding the right location, Winwood being great area now was nowhere near what it is now seven years ago. All my friends were like, you're crazy, you're crazy. I said, but I have a feeling that Wynwood is going to be a huge hit. And it, it lends itself well to Wynwood. You have an ambiance going on. There's a lot of, you know, you have music, it's great for parties, for large groups, which is yeah. perfect here. Well, I definitely wanted as much outdoor space as possible, and that's what was perfect about this location. We have about 3,000 outdoor square feet as well yes, as about 3,000 indoor square feet. So let's say I've never been here, what would you recommend? I bring it down into like our top selling burgers, our top selling sausages, our mixed throat platter, the parochas which we saw, those are also handmade and with brisket, onions, and it's blended up and we hand patty them out, hand form them for the pierogies. How do you source your, your meat? Basically, the way it works, we have another location in West Palm Beach. And that one is where all the real magic happens. All of our butchers that have been working for my father for over 15 years are there, breaking down the meat, breaking down the steaks, cutting them through the bandsaw. We grind our own burgers. We're infusing the gorgonzola bacon right into the patty. We're doing jalapeno cheddar right into the patty. We sell CAB quality meat, which is certified Angus beef. They meet an extremely stringent requirement as far as how the cow is raised, how, what it's fed, how it's uh, slaughtered, and how it's broken down. Those are like very, very important aspects of getting a good quality meat. I know exactly what my cows are eating, where they're coming from, mostly from CAV farms in the northern part of Florida, as well as the Midwest. The marbling is always consistent because they have to meet such strict requirements. So marbling is another part of what makes a, a steak tender. Now I'm back in the kitchen with Chef Marcellus as he prepares the assorted platter, which includes the fresh bratwurst, the chicken bratwurst, a jalapeno cheddar sausage, a dried cured smoked Polish, and the sauerkraut, the caramelized onions, a pretzel bun, and fries. I think it's safe to say that I really liked this. My favorite one was the, the jalapeno cheddar sausage. Unfortunately, I already ate it, so I can't show it to you. But just know that it was super good. This one's really good too. Now all this great food pairs well with a drink in hand. And the butcher shop has over 27 draft beers for you to choose from. What makes us unique as a beer garden is we have different options. You could do pints, you could do liters, you could do the boots like the one I just poured. Yeah. We definitely love to support local. We have a lot of different breweries that we're working with. Lisa Sur is local right in Linwood. Funky Buddha is local right in the uh, Fort Lauderdale area. We have Linwood Brewing. Cigar City is definitely a local, but it's Florida local. It's not hyper local. Mega Mix, MIA Brewing. El Jefe is he's, uh, around the corner. Whenever he's brewing, I can smell the hops in the air. That's how close he is. It's got um, some caramel notes, some banana notes in there. It's got in the aftertaste, so it's very yeah. fruity, and it's, it's brewed in a different way than traditional beer. It's really, really good. And it has a greeny texture to it as well. It's, it's heavier because yeah. it's meat, but it's also not like a traditional German Heffenweizen, 
which is very heavy. This one is kind of lighter. Yeah, I like it. So this is probably one of my favorite ones. Awesome. So we could go through all the samples and we probably wouldn't be able to stand anymore. <laughs> so we also have a full bar. We have about 10 signature cocktails that we have. And uh, we have everything from tequila, whiskey, gin, cocktails, mojito. And we have a little bit of everything for everybody. So come on and enjoy. Well, make sure to come and check out the Butcher Shop located in Wynwood or their other spot in West Palm Beach. And if you like this video, please make sure to like, subscribe, and share it with your friends.